Okay, guys, we have this giant four pound bubble bar. This thing is four pounds, and we're gonna chop it up. What are you, friggin' nuts? I'm not gonna use the exacto knife. Are you crazy? Oh, God, no. For this bad boy, we got the big one. The big ass knife. It's the, like, soap knife kind of thing. Don't use knives that you're ever gonna use again in the kitchen for any kind of soap products. Um, it's not healthy, safe. Always use something that you are never planning on using for the kitchen. So here we have... <laughs> Alright, Odie sent me a whole big box of goodies, which you guys previously saw. This is a, like, this thing weighed out to be... Alright, four pounds is maybe exaggerating a little bit, but this thing definitely weighed uh, almost up to a good three and a couple ounces. This thing is heavy. And it's huge. Look at it. It's bigger than Boogie's head, and Boogie right now is crawling on the floor. So you can see him kind of over there, and there's a bubble bar. It, it literally, I put it up next to his head. It's bigger than his damn head. But I didn't get any photos of it next to his head, so that was the only bad thing. But we can all see it right here, ready? We are going to cut it. I'm going to try and cut it inside the wrapper a little bit so I don't lose any of it. But no way in hell, me, the queen of gluttony with bubble bars is going to be able to do an entire bath of this this whole thing so i gotta cut it into fours like cake slices let's do it guys Whoa. it might crumble a little bit it's nice and dry so it's it's gonna be a nice crumble breakdown i'm really happy with that but i'm just gonna go for it oh what happened babe i know it's i like want to cry that i'm cutting it Oh my god! <gasps> Look! It's three layers! Oh, it's so cool! The scent is, like, incredible. It's sweet. It kind of smells like... Um... Girly and berry. I don't know how else to say it. <laughs> but it's, like, girly and berry. But, let's go ahead and let's do it one more time. And then we'll chop up some for the bath. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at it go. Look at it go. Oh, that's so nice. Sorry, I get excited. I haven't cut a bubble bar in a year because I basically just either break them in half and do them all together. But I have not had the opportunity to actually slide my knife through a bubble bar. Look at that. Look at it. Look at it. Look, it looks like cake. Oh, I want to eat it. My God, man. She makes products that you want to eat. Like, I so badly want to eat this. I don't know why I want to eat it. Look at this soap. All right. This soap, we were on the phone and she was explaining to me this soap. This soap is called Flope. This is the Death and Decay scent that you saw me just unbox. And it will float. It is floating soap, hence the name Flope. So this is going for the bath. This is the facial bar. I'm going to wash my face in that bad boy. And I think we're going to go ahead and do the bath bomb as well. I might do the bath bomb at a different time and just enjoy the bubble bar tonight because this is a chocolate strawberry type scent or chocolate cordial cherry type scent. And this is more of a berryish type. It kind of reminds me of the fragrance oil um, Blonde Moment. Uh, it kind of smells like Blonde Moment and like berries. Blonde Moment is a very feminine kind of berryish type scent. But it's more... Shit, how do I explain this? I don't know, it's more like... Perfumious... Than it is... Um... Berryish. Let's say that much. Which one's bigger? Let's do the bigger one. Uh, I think these guys are the, the smaller of the two. Oh, he broke. Okay, so I lost a piece of him. That's still cool, though. We're gonna keep that piece of him in there. And we are going to chop down... One of these. Alright, so now this definitely will get you more than four baths. But I like my bubble baths. I like a lot of bubble. So I kind of go a little nuts with them here. So what we're going to do is we're going to finish chopping up this bed boy. Ready? Wow, look. Nice crumble on that. Just breaks right down, man. Oh, that's so nice. <laughs> I love a bubble bar that just breaks down. Look at it. Look how nice it just crumbles. Not a doughy consistency, a nice crumble to it. 
man, so far I'm like batting a thousand with bubble bars with companies, man. Whiskey Mermaid put out a kick-ass crumble. She got a good bubble bar. And now I got, I got my friend Odie over here. Okay, her name is not Odie, but I cannot pronounce her name. Uh, my husband can pronounce it, but I can't. So, I call her Odie. O for first and D for the last. So don't think I'm talking about the Garfield dog. I'm talking Odie. All right, let's go ahead. Let's take one last look at how beautiful it is. And let's go ahead and shave him down here. Oh, look at it. 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 Oh, yeah. Oh, it's so satisfying. Oh, man. Okay, we are still going to do the destruction of the bath bombs from Lush. Oh, because I want to see what makes them tick. So we're still going to destroy Lush Bath Bomb. Don't worry about that. But right now, I am getting too much of a kick out of this. It is just so cool. Are you feeding him a cookie? It's too late at night. Don't give him a cookie. No, no, no. Oh, okay. You can't eat a cookie. You had surgery today. Oh, look at it. Look at it. Oh, man. All right. I'm going to wind up doing half of this bubble bar tonight. Simply because I'm going to crumble some up. And then I'm going to go ahead and uh, do one in my hand. Like actual, like a big chunk of it. Just break it down in my hand. Underneath the water. So this one's going to go obviously into Bob the Strainer. Look at it. Look at it. Look, 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 look. It looks like a cake. Like it looks like a slice of cake. Ain't that so cool? Let's keep going. Oh, it's been so long since I was able to chop up a bubble bar. That's like the joys of it, though. Like, I know why people only use half of them or a piece of them, things like that. Sometimes you can't, you know, you can't do a full one. It's too soapy. And right now with this bubble bar, this thing, it, it just weighs out way too much. I would overflow the tub. So we're going to do half of him. And I previously had to do one half of bubble bar from Lush. Unfortunately, the Holly Go Lightly, I could only do half of it because it was so big and so thick. And even that half was an extremely, extremely, extremely soapy bath. There you go, guys. Look at it. The watercolor is going to be absolutely beautiful. I can just picture like a dark pinky color. All right, so here is our big ass bubble bar. <laughs> I have never had somebody send me a big bubble bar before. Like, not something gargantuan like this. I've had big ones, but I've never had anything that was like gargantuanly big. This is just like, wow, I wonder how much this would weigh out. Just this half. Oh, it's a piece of soap. <laughs> okay, so let's get all that in there. <laughs> Alright guys, so here we have it. Watch me drop it, right? Here is a quarter of her bubble bar. A quarter of it made this. There is a lot of bubble bar in here. Alright, so we're going to do a quarter of this one. And I'm going to take another chunk. He's going to come with us as well. These two pieces I'm going to put aside for a future bath. Maybe a cocktail. We are also bringing Flope. Flope is going to be the soap. It is a death and decay scent. It may not match with the scent of the bubble bar because the bubble bar is so sweet and like pretty smelling. So that's definitely not going to match, but I, I got to use it just because I want to eat it. It looks like a giant marshmallow, doesn't it? Doesn't it resemble like a big marshmallow or like a big like chunk of like Turkish delight type, you know, when you dust all the powder off and get the inside? I know it's more, it's darker than a Turkish delight piece of candy. But it just reminds me of like, oh, Russell Stover's candies, nougat. That's what it reminds me of. Russell Stover's candies, if you take all the chocolate off, there's this cherry nougat. It's my favorite one. It's like a, they think it is cherry nougat, and it reminds me of this. This reminds me of nougat that you want to sink your teeth into, or the inside of a Three Musketeers bar. All right, I got to stop talking about it. I'm going to eat it. Uh, I am also going to go ahead, and I'm going to chop Mr. Facial Bar in half, because I'm a little nervous about soap. Once you get it wet, it starts to, like, you know, soften up. So I want to make sure that I have Facial Bar. Um, it's so big. Like, it is a really, it's a pretty big bar. And I love the way it smells. So what I'm going to do is just chop them in half. And this is a cold process soap. She doesn't do any melt and pour or anything like that. She does do the actual cold process. 
created with the hole with the lye and everything, so it is uh, real soap. Not that Melton Pour is not real, but this is the real, real soap soap, you know? So I'm going to go ahead and chop him in half, take half into the bathroom now. And I am going to put the other half into my colossal Odie soap box. Here, wanna see it? Ugh. Sorry, it's a little heavy. <laughs> this is my new soap box. It's just a lush box that I filled up with all the soaps that Odie sent us. And he is going to chill out in there. Now the rest of them, I mean, Richie already took out his, uh, these two are also Richie. So Richie took out the one that he wants to use right now. Which she sent for him. So these other two are his. Uh, the next one he's going for is that bad boy. And then he wants that one. But I also love this one. So I might chop that one in half and share it with him. He has fallen in love with this guy. Same as me. This one and this back one here. He's absolutely in love with. Doesn't want me to have them. So I might have to share them with him. But I gotta say man. For a soap maker. This is beautiful. I mean look at just the top detailing on them. That's what I love about the cold process soaps, the detailing work. Look at that. They're beautiful. This is the, the Violet Dead one. Oh my god, watch. Let me get it out here so you can see it. So beautiful. Such a nice bar. The scent is amazing. Luster on the top there. It's just beautiful. Here is my one that sort of resembles the scent of Twilight. It smells like a lavender and chamomile smell. And it's got gold salts on it. It's the salt bar. Oh my god, I'm in so much love with these things. So, okay. Uh, Richie's already kind of declared the ones that I'm going to have to share with him. I don't mind, um, but I, I do have to cut them. I don't like sharing soap. I just, I don't know, it freaks me out. Um, so I will wind up having to cut a few, and then they won't be the magnificent pieces that they once were. <laughs> but at least he gets to enjoy them as well. Because uh, I told him that he has to give up half of his... Um, my hubby's t-shirt one because I really love the way that smells. It's, it does have a slight smell of like a man. It smells masculine, but it just smells good. So I really like it. All right, guys, stay tuned. Cause your next video, we are going to have a bubble bath. <laughs> so hope you guys are all excited to see how this bubble bar performs and to see all this beauty. I love the crumble. Love it. I love how nice it crumbles. <laughs> I can't wait to see this beauty in the tub. So, we got half of the giant big, I want to say it was four pounds, but it was three and, three and change on it. So, we, we're putting in half. Wish me luck, guys. Love you all. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to subscribe, go ahead and push that button over there. And if not, just thank you for viewing and hanging out with us. And chopping up a giant bubble bar. <laughs> I will talk to you guys all in a few moments, a uh, little while, very little bit. We're going to go start a bath. Love yous.